Wednesday, August 28th, 2019. A date which will live in infamy. I think that's getting a little overdramatic. Don't you? <laughs> It's uh, things, I mean, you might see that there's a lot of stuff uh, right behind me here. I mean, there's still a lot of product, but it's really picked over. Honestly, I, I'm kind of surprised, and it's really the first time that it has looked really picked over. I mean, I've been looking for a couple things. A, a couple friends of mine uh, gave me lists of stuff to look for, and I've been striking out for them. Uh, yeah, I kind of, uh, there was enough here last time that I didn't really expect to, be, to see that much of a change between then and now, but but I found a few things for myself, actually. Uh, so, but yeah, I mean, you can kind of see there's some empty spots. The place is uh, cleaning out. Uh, uh, everything is still 50% off right now, so... Uh, and today is August, what is it, 13th, I think, and he is hoping to be out of here by the end of August, so... Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to make any more stops here or not. Um, depends on if the discount goes higher. I'm not sure if it will or not, so... Uh, yeah, um, I will definitely show you what I picked out, uh, what I got, uh, later on. But, and yeah, as I've said before, it's pretty sad to see the place uh, going away. Um, I, I, part of me kind of didn't want to make a video here of the place being as cleaned out as it is, just because, you know, I want to remember it as it was, you know. So yeah, uh, you might possibly see another Skip's visit vlog video. Is that enough V's for you? Um, sometime soon, but uh, this could be the last uh, stop that I make here. So, yeah. Greetings one and all, and welcome once again to Tom's Hit Parade. Yes, this is uh, the turning of a corner, I guess you'd say. This is the first video that I am filming after the final closure of Skips Records and CD World. Yes, if you've been waiting for me to stop talking about Skips, either on my videos on my channel or in Twitter, uh, this is your lucky day. Um, yeah, I've I mean, I'll probably mention skips when I do my bargain bag videos, uh, just because that's where I got the bags from. But uh, yeah, otherwise, yes, it's been a long, wonderful journey. But yeah, 24 years of my life spent shopping at skips uh, has come to an end. Uh, I, I've known it was coming for, you know, almost two months is when he started his uh, going out of business sale. It was almost two months ago. Uh, so yeah, I've had two months to prepare myself and you know, to get all the goodies that I wanted to get, and I'm going to be showing you uh, most of the goodies that I got over the last uh, several weeks. Uh, but yeah, and I know it's a little stupid and a little silly for me to be going on so much about a record store, especially considering all the things that have happened to me and my family in the past year. I mean, that horrendous snowstorm we had back in was it February or March, and then the little health scare involving a member of my family that happened shortly thereafter, and not to mention stuff that's happened in my life before that. I mean, the loss of my sister and other things. So to get worked up about a record store is kind of silly, I will admit. I'm for the first to admit. But still, you know, as I said, I spent, you know, half of my life shopping there. So you have to adjust to it. And I think I'm adjusting pretty well. Um, I mean, as I said, I had a month and a half, almost two months to get what I wanted to get out of the store to help fund Skip's retirement uh, and... Uh, a very, very well-deserved retirement. Uh, congratulations, Skip. Uh, bon voyage. Love ya, and uh, have a wonderful retirement. We'll have to get together for coffee and, or something every once in a while. Don't be a stranger. And can I just stop for a minute and say, I hate vultures. You know, those people who pretty much ignore a locally owned store until it's going out of business, and then they descend and take advantage of the discounts, you know. I mean, God forbid they should buy something at full price, right? I mean, I realize that, you know, the way that things are today, people want to get as much for their money as they can, but still, you know, especially with something like music, uh, it is, it's not a necessity, it's a luxury item. Well, I mean, I guess for me, arguably, it's not a necessity, but, you know, it's the thing that keeps on giving. You can listen to it over and over and over again. It's not like a consumable where you use it once and that's it. You know, so, in my opinion, in that respect, music is worth full retail price. You know, because you can enjoy it over and over again. But anyway, I'm getting off track. But yeah, these people who pick at the carcass 
instead of appreciating it while it's there. Of course, I guess that's human nature in a way. I mean, look at when a musician dies. You know, their catalog is pretty much ignored until they die, and then their album album uh, sales skyrocket. So that's just the kind of creatures we are. So in a way, it's forgivable, but still, I hate vultures. But anyway, enough negativity. I don't want this to be a negative downer video. I want it to be a an uplifting, happy send-off to Skip and his wife and their wonderful staff. Uh, they're all hard workers who I'm sure will land on their feet in no time with new jobs. And if you happen to be a local business owner in the area and you're watching this video and somebody comes to you uh, who has Skips on their resume recently, give them a try. Uh, Skip would not have him working for him uh, if they were slackers or slouches or anything like that. So hey, give them a try. What can I say? But anyway, this is going to be a bit of a different video. I've, I tried to take as many uh, vlog style video clips of my last few visits to the store as I could because I wasn't sure which visit was going to be my last, so I wanted to document as many of them as I could. So I'll just be interspersing those clips in here with showing you what I got on my last several visits to Skips. So let's go ahead and get started with uh, showing you the stuff that I got during the 60% off part of Skips uh, going at a business sale. Uh, yeah, I mean, that was you know, halfway through, more than halfway through the sale, and I still had saw some great stuff there. I decided to pick up a pair of Joe Satriani albums. This guy is a killer uh, rock guitarist, um, Surfing with the Alien, and this is the deluxe version. Uh, it is one of the best instrumental guitar rock albums of all time. Listen to it if you haven't yet. Uh, and also his uh, album Shockwave Supernova. And then I decided to uh, pick up a couple of Lord albums. I've I'd listened to a couple of Lord singles, but never picked up uh, her album, so I got both of them, Pure Heroine and Melodrama, 60% off. And then I actually found, of all things, a Colin Hay CD that I did not have. Yeah, shocker, huh? And I, I actually, I think this is one of two that I did not have, so I think I'm only missing one out of his discography. And yeah, he did a couple albums where he did... The track listing was mostly stuff that he had on other albums, although in uh, acoustic arrangements. So this is, I believe this is one of those acoustic, uh, half the same albums in, in a way, manner of speaking. So yeah, I'm only missing one, I think. And then a dance pop duo from the Netherlands or Denmark, I can't remember which, uh, Junior Senior. Their first album, I can't remember what the name of it was. It was uh, rather popular back in its day. Uh, I mean, a, a modest hit, I guess you'd say. This is their follow-up. Uh, hey, hey, my, my, yo, yo. So they're really kind of catchy and, I mean, not a lot of substance to this stuff. I mean, this is really ear candy, but it's catchy and cool and fun. So yeah, give Junior Senior a try if you haven't yet. So uh, yeah, those were the CDs. And one interesting thing about the going out of business sale is I picked up just as many, if not more, LPs than CDs. So, uh, and I'm going to talk about that in a little while, uh, but I'm trying to find a way to stack these so I don't spill them and all that. But yeah, I found a couple of Paul McCartney. Yeah, um, Tug of War and Pipes of Peace. Uh, new and sealed. I mean, all of the LPs that I bought were new and sealed. So, I mean, for, the, for those prices, hey, why not? And Bleacher's Strange Desire. Shout out to uh, Noah, who I'm sure is proud of that. And then uh, Sondra Lerke, I found a few of his albums. Uh, the first one I found was a Bootlegs release. So uh, I'm, I'm growing more and more fond of Sondra Lerke every time I listen to him. So. And then uh, Charlie Puth voice notes and Nine Track Mind. So for 60% off, you can't blame me, right? Besides, I like the album. What can I say? I have a soft spot for it. Come on. And then I've uh, got a very cool um, electro pop synthwave artist called Bright Light, Bright Light. And this is his album Choreography. Uh, it's very, very cool, very fun album if you haven't listened to it yet. It's got uh, appearances by Elton John and members of the Scissor Sisters. Uh, amongst others. It's it's a great album. I have it on CD, but I decided to pick up the LP, and I'll explain why. And that's, that's the case with several of the LPs that I bought. I already have them on CD, and, and I'll get into that in a few minutes later also at the end of this video, but yeah. Very good album if you haven't listened to it yet. Choreography by Bright Light, Bright Light. And then Taj Mo. This is a collaborative, al collaborative album between Taj Mahal and Keb Mo a pair of blues artists. Uh, you've heard me talk about Ke Keb Mo recently, very much into him. And so, yeah, this is a very, very fun album, if you like blues. So, yeah, that is uh, the 60% off batch of stuff that I got. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, I thought I would film 
my what is probably going to be my last shopping trip to Skips. Uh, there are a couple of store fixtures that I'm going to pick up uh, later on on probably his last day open. But uh, yeah, as for shopping, yeah, this is most likely going to be it. And kind of prophetically, it is actually raining out. As you can see and rain, at least this kind of rain in August in Oregon is not typical, so uh, yes, Mother Nature must have known this was going to be a uh, bittersweet day for me, so so yeah, let's uh, go inside. I have not been here in about a week, so I'm going to be very interested to see what is actually left in here, so uh, let's go take a look. Yeah, it is looking pretty bare here. Uh, pretty barren. Actually not. a uh, the vinyl selection is still not too bad over there, so, but yeah, the CDs, uh, yeah, very, very much thinned out, as you can see here. Not a whole lot. Great big empty space here, where there, as you know, used to be lots of these racks, used to be here. So. I left an album behind, uh, think about that one. I left an album behind here last week, and I'm kind of thinking I probably shouldn't have. Let's see if it is still here. Oh, there it is. Coins, self-titled, debut album. Yes. And yes, I have it on CD, but, you know, i got to have it on vinyl. At 70% off, why not? Sam Cool, where have I heard of him? Oh, this was in the cat. God, it's still here. I was hoping that one would still be here. Sure. Over here in the Solon r &B. let's see if I can go three for three on the ones that I left behind. TLC. Bad luck on the other two, so perhaps. Yes! Oh, dang. Three for three. All right. So I actually did okay leaving those behind for once. There are several things here that I actually missed out on uh, leaving them behind and regretted it. Okay, after about two and a half, three hours of uh, poking around here, uh, this is what I've come to. I think it's too much. It's 70% it's off, so how can I, uh, it's like, how can I leave this stuff? I'm probably going to thin my basket out a little bit. Uh, this is, uh, it's kind of ridiculous, but it, at the same time, it's my last shopping trip. So, you'll find out in a wrap-up video at home what I actually came up with, so... Then I went back to the store about a week later when everything was 70% off, and I kind of thought that was going to be my last stop there, and so I kind of treated it as such. I really loaded up on stuff, because. but hey, when it was 70% off, uh, of course, as you will see, I was actually able to make one more trip there. But yeah, on my 70% off stop, I uh, decided to pick up, and I still, you'll see here, there was still some really good stuff there. A couple of Weezer albums, uh, Ratitude and Hurley. And I uh, filled a couple of gaps in my Cheryl Crow collection. There were still some Cheryl Crow CDs. Uh, Be Myself and Feels Like Home. So I think I have all of her studio albums, except her Christmas album. And then uh, Elizabeth and the Catapult. Uh, I have her first two albums. This was her third, which I hadn't picked up yet. And it was it was $2 with 70% off. So I, mean, it's like I got that one for pennies, literally. And then I was... Honestly, surprised. I was flabbergasted at how good their BB King selection was when the sale was at seventy percent off. So I got BB uh, King and Friends eighty. This is a, a a birthday celebration, I think, with all sorts of guest uh, artists on here: Van Morrison, Eric Clapton, Cheryl Crow, John Mayer, Mark Knopfler, Glenn Frey. I mean, good lord! And and certainly for five ninety five minus eighty uh, seventy percent, that was a no brainer. Honestly. Then a few other artists whose uh, I've got albums of theirs, but uh, saw additional ones there. Uh, you heard me talk about Vance Gilbert in a uh, bargain bag video a couple months back. 
I uh, found uh, the next album in his discography that I hadn't had yet. And uh, Jonathan Brooke, she's a uh, singer-songwriter that I enjoy. I've got three of her albums, I think. Uh, so this is the fourth that I have. It's called Ten Cent Wings. Decided to pick that up. And both of those were in the folk section, which is probably why I hadn't seen them before. Is, uh, you know, I, I didn't realize that anything, anything I liked could be classified as folk. Uh, anyway, uh, Bruce Hornsby in the Range. This is another one. I have their debut album, and this is their follow-up. And it has an, uh, the original version, I think, of a song of Huey Lewis in the News that I really enjoy called Jacob's Ladder. So, And I've never heard the Bruce Hornsby version, so that was one reason I picked this up. And then uh, Keen frontman Tom Chaplin. He had a solo album out uh, several years ago. Several years ago? Two years ago. Uh, the Wave. I decided to pick that up. And those are just the CDs that I found for 70% off. I mean, the vinyl is just... Uh, I found a few LPs that I had seen there when the sale was 60% off, but I found too much that uh, I just couldn't pick these up at the time and decided to take a gamble, and they happened to still be there. So, yeah, a Coins debut album, self-titled, and uh, Priscilla Renee. She's a great um, soul singer, songwriter kind of uh, artist. Uh, yeah, this is her album, Colored. Um, Kyle at Track by Track recommended this, and I listened to it and enjoyed it. And Perfect Symmetry by Keen. I love Keen. This is this was a bit of a left turn for them. They kind of went into synth pop uh, as opposed to their piano-ish rock sort of stuff, Brit pop. But uh, yeah, I, I enjoy this album. I have a soft spot, soft spot for it, so what can I say? And yes, I have all those on CD already, but uh, as I said, I'll explain in a few minutes at the end of the video uh, my logic behind that. And then another, another Sandra Lerche that I did not have before, so uh, this is pleasure. And then this here's a guy that I had not heard of before, uh, Trapper Shep, I think is how you pronounce his last name, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, he, he was actually, this was in the Electronica section, uh, it's something that uh, does not did not happen very often at Skips. I've got to get used to talking about Skips in the past tense now. Uh, they misfiled this in Electronica, but it's actually uh, rock, you know, singer-songwriter rock, kind of in the Americana vein, I guess. Uh, saw this there. I had never heard of him before. Called up uh, YouTube on my phone, listened to a couple of tracks, and kind of liked what I heard. So picked this up. And by the way, I have not had a chance to listen to any of these LPs yet. So yeah, I've got a huge backlog. Um, and then you heard me talk about uh, an actor recently, also in a bargain bag uh, video, Dennis Quaid. He was in that uh, American Dreams movie really cool, and I hadn't realized that he put out an album with a band that he has, so uh, yeah, gotta try that out. I mean, I'm, I'm a Dennis Quaid fan, what can I say? And then another one that I already have on CD, uh, The Script, their self-titled debut album. Self-titled? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's one of my favorites. I, I, I love The Script. And they actually had their uh, Freedom Child album, they actually had two copies of it there, uh, and I saw it there. It was still there on the 80% off day, and I was like, no, I, I kind of waffled. I decided not to get it because it's not one of my favorite script albums. So, well, what can I say? And then uh, the fourth album, I believe, by Parachute. I have their three, their first three albums on CD, so I decided to pick that one up and give it a try. And then uh, probably the biggest coup that I found at 70% off, Van Morrison, a duets album. I had seen this, obviously. I'm a minor to moderate Van Morrison fan, not a huge Van Morrison fan. But yeah, he uh, this is re-recordings of some of his classic songs from his catalog with guest artists. And I mean, the the roster on here, George Benson, Joss Stone, Mavis Staples, uh, Gregory Porter, Natalie Cole, uh, Steve Winwood, Mark Knopfler, Michael Buble, Taj Mahal. How could I not, honestly? So yeah, that was a I mean, you can see why I bought so much. There was just so much still there to buy. It was just mind-boggling. So, yeah, and that was my 70% off haul. So, uh, yeah. Very charming. You better cut that out. <laughs> and then, as if that weren't enough, yes, I decided to... Uh, take advantage of things when things went up to 80% off, which I, I wasn't sure if it was going to go that high, honestly. So, and of course, when you're getting that much for your money, uh, why not plunge in? Uh, yeah, I got so many CDs that uh, Skip had had these, this wire mesh uh, CD case here that uh, up on the counter he was going to sell it, but I bought so many CDs that he just grabbed it off the counter as he was ringing stuff, off, stuff up and just shoved them in here. And so I got the CD rack for free. I mean, 
Th that's the kind of guy Skip was. I mean, we are really losing out on a uh, one heck of a guy um, with a, a CD store like Skip's closing. I mean, he was just that kind of guy. What can I say? But anyway, try and go through these quickly. I don't want to make this video an hour and a half long. Um, one of these I got was the uh, Masters of the Keyboard. It's a jazz compilation. And the main reason I got this one was because in my sister's collection, she had uh, Masters of the Saxophone. So it was, you know, it's kind of a matching set. And there is a Masters of the Guitar out there that I have not been able to track down yet. So, uh, well, actually, I, I didn't bother looking to see. I didn't know it existed until just recently when I picked up Masters of the Keyboard. So I'm going to have to look, that, look for that one and make a complete set. And yes, as I mentioned in my last Skips video, uh, Skips was a place that I would regularly go to with my sister when she would come up here and we'd have our, our special day together. Uh, that was part of our routine was going to Skips. So, you know, something that ties me to my sister, you know, in terms of our CD collection and in terms of Skips, you know, I've got to do that. So, yeah. And then filled a couple of gaps uh, again in artist collections, discographies. Uh, Dave Matthews Band, I realized that I have the second and fourth albums, I believe, in uh, their discography, so I decided to get the first and the third, uh, Before These Crowded Streets and Under the Table Dreaming. So yeah. they were both uh, $5.95 uh, before discount, so, you know, that's, what did I figure, that's like a dollar nineteen or something, or maybe even less with 80%. And then Edwin McCain is another one, uh, that's another one actually that my sister had one of his CDs in her collection, so, and I liked it, so I picked up uh, two of his. And then Richard Marks. Uh, when I mentioned Richard Marks in a recent Backtracks video, I decided to uh, pick up one of his albums, and I kind of liked it. So yeah, picked up a couple of his uh, more recent albums. And this is this is one that I'd actually had uh, years ago, and got rid of it for whatever reason. The Griswolds. They're a uh, indie electro rock band, I guess you'd say. And I decided to go ahead and pick it up again, and in fact, I enjoyed it so much that uh, just the other day I was able to track down their sophomore album, uh, High Times for Low Lives. So uh, rediscovered an artist that I uh, should not have given up for uh, trade credit to a store. And then decided to pick up Mariah Carey's Christmas album. Uh, they had a pretty good selection of Christmas albums, and, and of course, you know, since they were closing and everything needed to go, they put their Christmas albums on sale in the middle of summer. Why not? And this was actually in the Christmas albums, but it wasn't a Christmas album. It's uh, a jazz tribute to the Beatles, which I thought was interesting. Uh, and it's, it's got yeah George Benson, Diana Krall, Spyro Gyra, Russ Freeman, Chick Corea, Lee Rittenauer, uh, David Benoit. So yeah, a bunch of cool artists doing covers of uh, Beatles songs. So I decided I had to pick that up. Not a huge, huge Beatles fan, but yeah. And then David Cook. I'm a bit of an American Idol fan from the past anyway. Don't care about the show anymore. But uh, And The Calling, their sophomore album. I have their uh, first album, as, as is the case with David Cook. So yeah, I decided to pick up their sophomore album. And then got some jazz, got your Lee Rittenauer, got your Eric Marienthal, and got your Chick Corea Electric Band. So, yeah, so like I said, with such a discount, why not just scoop up all the albums that you could, and a lot of these were on the, uh, actually no, some of them were on the budget wall, but a lot of them were, you know, five ninety five, and with the 80% discount, you know. Then a couple of things I had not heard before. Um, the United Future Organization, they're some kind of a jazz group, uh, they, origin they originated from uh, Japan, I think, and just, ju I just read the first uh, paragraph of their Wikipedia article, and it intrigued me enough to pick it up, you know, and, and of course, you know, for Oh, oh, this one was six ninety five before discount. Ooh, big spender. Uh, so, but yeah, it's like, why not give stuff a try that you haven't heard before with such rock bottom prices? And Bobby Hutcherson is another jazz artist that I had not heard from heard of before. Uh, yes, he plays vibraphone and marimba. Something new I hadn't tried before. So, and one of the selling points for this for me was honestly, he does a rendition of "Can You Read My Mind," which is the love theme from the first Superman movie with Christopher Reeve. So. I've got to hear the, his rendition of that. And again, most of these CDs I have not listened to yet. So it's just, you know, I, I bought so much in the last few weeks that I just haven't had a chance to listen to it yet. And then uh, <laughs> this one's kind of interesting. This is a comedy CD. I love comedy. I'm thinking of doing a video about uh, my comedy collection, my comedy CD collection. 
most of it is not music oriented it's it's stand-up or you know spoken word comedy but anyway uh, Brian Posehn is one funny guy I, I am not normally one to pick up a CD called fart and wiener jokes but uh, hey Brian Posehn is a funny bastard so uh, I had to pick that one up and my brother likes him too so uh, uh, we'll probably share that one. And then a DVD, which is actually in a CD case. This is uh, Rivers Cuomo and Friends Live at Fingerprints Records. This was a, uh, I believe this was a Record Store Day release. I'm not sure. But yeah, I've decided to pick it up. And I also picked up the CD version, which which actually has a different track list, a smaller track list. The DVD has 12 tracks. I think the CD has seven. But uh, yeah, got a matching pair. And then he had a whole bunch of stuff on a table set up in the middle of the Thing. This was a bunch of probably a bunch of promo CDs that he had upstairs in his office that he was giving away for a dollar a piece. Uh, this one is actually a three disc uh, easy listening set. Yeah, three discs for one dollar. It was in perfect condition. The CDs were scratch free. And then the uh, a promo advance CD of the the Little Willies sophomore album. This is a Americana country type band with uh, oh, what's her name Nora Jones. In, on vocals, and uh, the, their first album was in my sister's collection, so I, I liked it enough to pick up, I mean, hey, especially for a dollar, you know, gotta pick up their uh, sophomore promo album to see what it's like. And that was just the CDs that I got. Yes, I got a whole bunch of LPs, I mean, hey, like I said, for 80% off, how can you pass it up? I uh, got a few of them that I already have on CD, uh, yeah. Culture Club, Boy George, um, their most recent album, Life, which I reviewed earlier on. And one of my favorite artists, Randall Bramblett, uh, this is his album, The Bright Spots. I had to pick this up on LP uh, just because I like him so much. I, I only have one of his other albums, and this was a very, very early album that he did back in the 70s. So, I mean, yeah, this guy's been recording forever, but he's only got maybe a dozen or so albums uh, to his name. But, yeah, his albums, if you haven't heard this one, if you like a good sitar, the song John the Baptist on this album, The Bright Spots, listen to it. It's, I, I love it. It's one of my favorite Randall Bramblett songs. And then uh, an electronica singer-songwriter kind of guy. Well, maybe not electronica. More more synth pop, I guess you'd say. Uh, Mickey Echo is his name. And this is album Time, which is, is another one that I've got on CD. Uh, and uh, yeah, as I mentioned, I will explain in a couple of minutes my logic behind buying so many albums that I already had on CD on LP. Uh, this is one that I did, did not have uh, until now. N Nellie Mackay's album Sister Orchid. Uh, this is this marks the fourth Nelly McKay album I have, I think. And then this other one, uh, I am so glad they had this. I didn't even know to look for it. It was actually in the country section, which is one reason I didn't see it before. Teddy Thompson and Kelly Jones. This is a collab album they did, they did called Little Little Windows. I love this album. This is very much throwback to classic, uh, classic country, vintage country sound. And, and of course, male-female vocalist combos, I, I just love. I, I love the harmony that they do. Oh, this is a beautiful album. Check it out if you haven't yet. That's oh, fantastic. And one of the biggest coups that I found, uh, Snarky Puppies Double LP Family Dinner Volume 2. Uh, I picked this up because uh, he features on here uh, Tr Jacob Collier, who is a jazz artist that I like, who I cannot believe I haven't talked about in more than just a mention or two on my channel. I love him so much. But yeah, I am. I was beyond surprised that they still had this at 80% off. So yes, I definitely grabbed it. It was $34.99, but hey, you know, it was 80% off. It's no, a no-brainer, like I said. And then The Temptations, their most recent album, All the Time. Uh, I'd been thinking about picking this up on CD, but I never had. And uh, Liz Wright, uh, she is a jazz artist. I have three of her CDs. Again, uh, the first CD was in my sister's collection, so that's kind of how I got into her. I picked up her second and third albums on CD and really enjoyed them, so this is not her fourth. This is, I think, her fifth or sixth album, but uh, yeah, it's called Grace, so I'm very much looking forward to listening to that. And I also decided to give Camila Cabello a try. Uh, this is her debut album, and yeah, they had it for 80% you know, off. So. so yeah, you can, uh, as you can see, there was a whole hell of a lot there to find uh, still at the very, very end of his, of his going out of business sale. Okay, this is it. And I mean, this really is it. My last strafing run into skips. Forgot to look for one thing the other day, so probably won't still be here, but let's see. Uninterrupted footage here. Okay. 
jazz LP. Nope, it's gone. I kind of figured it was gone, but not the heck. When things are 80% off, you have got to try, right? Oh, well, there's some George Benson. Let's see if it's hiding here. Nope, struck out. Let's see what else is here. My very absolute last final purchase forever and ever for all eternity just happened. 15 bucks for two brand new CDs and two brand new LPs. So, hey... You can't beat the prices. You can't blame me for taking the opportunity when the prices are like this. So, not that I haven't done uh, more than my share of full price shopping there over the last 24 years. So, uh, yep, a really sad day to see uh, Skips finally going out of business. But uh, life goes on. And I'm sure you are wondering what those last two CDs and last two LPs I ever bought at Skips are. So I'll show them to you very briefly here. Uh, first one is Melissa Etheridge. Yeah, they, they still had, even at the final, final day there, still had plenty of Melissa Etheridge there and a little bit of new and sealed Melissa Etheridge at that. So yeah, her album Fourth Street Feeling, thought I'd pick that up and give it a try. I've got several of, of her CDs already. So yeah, further, further deep in my Melissa Etheridge discography there. Give that one a try. And then this CD, there's a, a pretty good story behind this one. Uh, it, this is a remix and production duo called Deep Dish. And this CD has been there for years and years and years, uh, probably since it first was released in 2005. Uh, I had seen it there on numerous occasions. Uh, it thought about picking it up several times over the years. But, you know, it's $17.99, you know, the, the upper end of the price range for new CDs. So I just, I'd never, I never investigated what these guys sound like, so I just I hesitated at that price you know you're gonna hesitate so yeah never never picked it up and finally on the very absolute last day that they were open it was still there so I decided what the hell for 80% off you know and because I had seen it so many times over the years there the CD is going to the CD is synonymous with skips in my mind so it might sound like crap for all I know but even if it does I'm thinking I might hang on to it just because it reminds me so much of skips so yeah as for the LPs, these are a couple of ones that uh, I have never, of artists I've never heard of before, or never heard anyway. Uh, this first one is a rock band, I think, called Kopecky. I've never heard of them before, so... But yeah, I just thought it looked intriguing, so I thought, what the hell. And then Coasts, I had heard of these guys before, but I've never tried out their music. And I love the cover of this album. Uh, it reminds me of, uh, well, Southern California, obviously, the Coasts. That's the name of the band. But yeah, give these guys a try, uh, so... Yeah, my last shopping trip at Skips ever. Uh, well, we'll see whether those albums yield any very cool or memorable sounds. And this, you know, the going out of business sale is, in a way, is the gift that keeps on giving. Because look at all the music I've got. I've got, it, it'll take me months to go through all this music to listen to. Uh, so yeah, in that respect, you know, I will be enjoying Skips for months now. Even though the store itself is closed, I'm still, go still going to enjoy them. And uh Another thing that's this has kind of uh, made me think about or made me realize possibly is that uh, I think this is a turning point in my music listening habits. Uh, for one thing, uh, a month or two months ago, uh, roughly, uh, I signed up for my first streaming service. Uh, yes, I, I'm, an, I'm an Amazon Prime member, so they had a special deal for Prime members. What is it? Amazon Music Unlimited is their streaming service, is what they're co uh, calling their streaming service. Four months for 99 cents. So it's like I figured how can you beat that? Uh, that's almost nothing. So I've uh, been enjoying that for almost two months. I guess uh, November sometime is when that trial period expires and I will decide whether or not to continue on from there. But uh, yeah, I'm enjoying actually being able to listen to albums bef before I buy them. <laughs> what a concept, right? But uh, you know, I'm a little slow on the uptake sometimes. What can I say? So, but yeah, that, you know, that's one of the changes that's happening. And also, with all the vinyl I've bought uh, during Skip's going out of business sale, it's made me start to appreciate the genre more. I, I've been listening to more vinyl lately, and it's also just the experience of buying them. Uh, you know, why am I buying so many on LP that I've already got on CD? Well, it's kind of, you know, you get this on CD, but when you buy the LP, it's like, in a way, it's larger than life. If, especially if you're used to the CD packaging, 
an LP literally is larger than life. So, and listening to an LP is kind of an event. You know, you, you pull it out of the jacket, you pull it out of the sleeve, you put it on, and when it's halfway over, you have to turn it over to put the other side on. So it's interactive that way. It's, it's, it's sometimes it's more, in some cases, it's more tangible even than the CD. It's, you know, I mean, a CD you can put in and it plays the entire album and you don't really have to think about it. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm explaining that adequately or not, but yeah, I'm think, kind of thinking, especially after the first of the year, I'm probably going to be buying a lot more LPs than CDs. And I'm, I have a feeling I'm going to be continuing on with the streaming service just so I can listen to something. And, you know, that's one, that's one of the down, downfalls of LPs is vinyl is more expensive than CDs are. You know, I'm really going to have to like something if I want to spend it the uh, the C the LP price tag for it. So, so yeah, I think my music habit, my music listening habits are going to change, especially with the first of the year. So, uh, it'll be interesting to document that through my channel. Uh, but yeah, that uh, has been my uh, my final shopping trips with Skit. Oh, forgot to tell you, I found uh, I got a couple of fixtures. I think I told you about them in my videos. Uh, but yeah, I decided to. Uh, come home with a couple of pieces of Skip's actual store. Uh, one of them is, uh, and this was a few weeks ago, he had a couple of these um, CD racks. And I'm trying to fit the whole thing in here. Yeah, it's pretty big. It holds, I think, 40, 40 CDs, maybe 50, something like that. But yeah, you can see they have sliding doors. Uh, yeah. So you have two sliding doors uh, with little handles there. Yeah, uh, one of them I'm using for uh, temporary storage of the Christmas CDs that I haven't listened to yet. Obviously, I put the CDs that I haven't listened to yet uh, aside. I don't file them yet until I've listened to them yet. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, one thing with these. And the other one of these, I have uh, some miscellaneous CDs, some mixed CDs that I made, as well as some odd spoken word and other things that cannot be categorized under the other genres that I haven't categorized in. So. So yeah, these two will come in handy. And yeah, he they were originally tagged at like eighteen dollars, and he looked them looked at them when I was interested in them and said, "Oh, they're too expensive. I'll, I'll give them to you for five bucks a piece." So, <laughs> and like I said, that's the kind of guy Skip is. And so, so yeah, I got these two of these for ten bucks, and these things are solid. They are sturdy. This thing is heavy. This probably weighs three or four pounds, uh, with no CDs in it. So yeah, they are substantial. They're not the cardboard or press board uh, flimsy little things. So yeah, that was a bargain in itself. And then the other keepsake that I got from the store is something that I was so happy to get this. Uh, you know, in some ways I was happier to get that than all of the records and CDs that I got combined. Uh, this was one of the floor mats from inside the store. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, black and emblazoned with the original CD World store logo in red. Uh, he had two of these in the store. One of them was uh, on the inside of the doors, you know, across the doorways for people to walk in on, and the other one was laid out on the floor next in front of the checkout counter. So Skip took one home for himself to keep, uh, but I asked him if I could uh, have the other one, and he gave, gave it to me for 20 bucks. So I, I'm, I was so happy to get this, honestly. I can't tell you. And it, it's a little bit big for my room, but uh, I am very happy with it. I love walking into my room and seeing that there on the floor first thing. It's uh, something I will treasure for the rest of my days. I, I absolutely love the fact that I was able to get that and bring a little piece of the store home with me. So, yes, uh, Skip's may be closed uh, in the strictest sense of the word, but it definitely lives on here in my house, uh, in my room. And I will, as I said, you know, the, the records and CDs that I got, I will enjoy listening to them for months uh, the next few months at least, and of course for the years and years that I keep them in my collection. So so again, I have to say thank you so much, Skip, for all the years of wonderful shopping and fantastic music and uh, great courtesy, you know, great customer service over all these years. You and your staff were just fantastic in that way. I don't know that another store will ever uh, come close to uh, matching you in that respect. So bon voyage on your retirement. I I hope you have a, a great time being a granddad and uh, writing that book. I want to buy, I'm going to buy that book when it comes out. Trust me. So I better get to writing that. But yes, that concludes my final remembrance uh, video proper of Skip's Records and CD World. Uh, it's a great store and it will be missed.
wholeheartedly. Uh, but anyway, yes, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I appreciate feedback, whether about this video or anything on my channel, or about music in general. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. I invite you to subscribe to my channel as well and check out my past videos to see what you might have missed. I'm also on Twitter, and you can find a link to my Twitter feed in the description below, so check it out and follow along. Also, please take the time to visit my friends and fellow YouTubers channels, which are also linked to in the description below. They're all great at what they do, and they're very much worth your attention. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And remember, life's too short to be a music snob.